Then check it out. We're here purely, no violence, just to protest about the way our statues are being desecrated or also defaced. And because the police have done nothing about it, we've come here because they won't look after them. And that's basically it. Which would all be very lovely, mate, if you did this every time there was a protest that defaced the Winston Churchill statue, but you don't. In almost every single protest in London over the last few years, the Winston Churchill statue has been defaced in some form or another. Yet only when it's a protest to do with black people, you turn up. And I think Tommy Robinson might have something to do with that one, mate, when he's making viral videos that encourage every one of his supporters to go down there and put out those statues. Then it's no wonder a bunch of boozed up, lobster-skinned looking Brits turn up with fucking beer bellies and ready to fight over their fucking statues that they never gave a shit about until last week fam and as for you lot coming there to protest peacefully i think the evidential footage from the day disproves that theory personally bruv this has nothing to do with color creed anything it's purely that. Well, far be it from me to call this guy a liar, yeah? But I'm sorry, mate. You need to look at the people you got around you on the day. Hundreds of people throwing up Nazi signs beside a statue of Winston Churchill, the guy who supposedly defeated the Nazis single-handed like some bald, fat-bellied Rambo. It's kind of ironic, don't you think, blood? And also, the same guy singing, We're racist and that's the way we like it, kind of calls into question your point that colour and creed doesn't really matter, don't it, bruv? To the contrary, I think colour and creed does matter quite deeply to most of these geezers that were with you bruv check yourself before you bloody wreck yourself mate i mean it's, it's a ridiculous thing you, you, history is what he is he is father of our country since the war without the war would these people rather have adolf hitler's descendants looking after us this is democracy and that's what it's supposed to be, a democracy. Yeah, you're right, mate. I agree. And a fundamental part of a democracy is the right for any section of its society to be able to protest against any policies that its government enacts that they feel is unjust or unfair. Such as a certain section being persecuted for the colour of their skin, for example, you fucking numbskull. These lot don't even realise that they defeat their own arguments, bro. But do you want to be ruled by the descendants of Adolf Hitler? What, you mean like a German queen, yeah? Or do you mean that Adolf Hitler was racist and who believed in a superior race like another famous politician hold on let me just think of his name quickly oh yeah winston fucking churchill all oh, this bickering about color race where you come from it's just it's, it's just daft isn't it getting out of hand it's just daft isn't it why why are people getting upset about where they come from i'm here to protect our great british history our british history because britain is where i come from i've probably had a fight with that bloke you know that one, that one, and we stand together, yeah? Um, this has turned into a slavery issue from some bloke dying by a corrupt uh, policeman. I've had a fight with everyone here, mate, but, you know, like, it's turned into a slavery issue. What am I on about again, mate? Oh, yeah. Boxer, mate! Boxer! Um, I didn't see any colour. I see a man die by a corrupt policeman, yeah? Stop with the colours, stop it. Because every time you say Black Lives Matter, you are putting a divide in between us all. You are being racist. Every time you say Black Lives Matter, you are a racist. Basically, what my man's saying is, if you say, can you stop treating black people like second class citizens, please? We don't appreciate dying disproportionately at the hands of police officers, and we don't appreciate being targeted in our community, so can you kindly please stop doing that? My man is trying to say that you're a racist for saying that, bro. Well, nah, fam. If you believe that black people don't have the right to protest over their mistreatment in society, guess what, fam? That makes you believe that the treatment of them is right therefore you believe that they should be treated like second class citizens and you should continue to be treated as a first class citizen which makes you a white supremacist you fucking racist we're here to just like stop this carnage we're here peacefully as you can see you don't need to rob places you don't need to hurt people you just need to turn up and be peaceful. Shame they couldn't stick to it then, would it, bruv? You man were acting like fucking savages, bruv. In the past two weeks of Black Lives Matter marches, where cumulatively millions of people attended, I never saw one scene like the scenes I've seen on Saturday from the far-right protesters, bruv. You lot are fucking cavemen, fam. I don't like what's happening, no, mate. There's no need to take the statues down. You know what I mean? It's just like... 
No need to take statues down. They were trying to take that statue of Edward Colston down from Bristol for ages, bro. You went outside Bristol Town Hill protesting every day. Where are you, mate? Nah, you only care because it was a march associated with black people, fam. Can we stop denying it now? Can we just stop mincing our words and just admit it, bro? You lot are racist. Us lot are anti-racist. That's why we're not getting along. You're not there to protect no statue, bro. You lot were there to piss on memorials and look for a fucking fight, bro. Stop lying to yourself. We're here to protect the statues and fight the coppers and take a big piss on a memorial. Why I am I? I'm here today, right, to support, support the English army. You know what I mean? What's happening, right? I don't agree with it, mate. Statues. I don't agree with it, mate. Statue. What the absolute fuck is it going on about, bro? Imagine being there to protect English stuff here, but you can't even fucking string a coherent sentence of English words together, bro. It fucking, it's all over, mate. Uh, yeah, the racism's coming back, mate, because of the fucking bitch. Ben? You what, mate? What the fuck is bitch? Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's about it for today. But there's one more thing I did wonder about. On Wednesday last week, I called it that Tommy Robinson was trying to incite a race war and that he was winding up his supporters, the so-called football lads, to try and get them to kick off on Saturday. And that's exactly what they did. So I wondered, when is Tommy Robinson going to get arrested for inciting violence, eh?